Hi everyone, this is Johnny Onos, and I'm playing X3, the Albion Prelude. And in this Let's Learn video, we're going to learn all about how to install plugins to X3. Now, I make it very clear between plugins and mods. Plugins in this game are more of your scripts, uh, things that are added to the game, very small things. Uh, mods are more, you know, a big change to the to the game itself, like the um, X. X uh, extended mod, uh, as well as there's like a Star, uh, Star Wars mod and a Battlestar Galactica mod. Those will change the games drastically. Uh, if you're looking to play X3, but then have just a couple of additions to it, then you're going to look for plugins instead of mods. So just want to make sure that's really clear off the bat. There are three links that we'll be using for each of the plugins. Uh, first one being the X3 Terran Conflict folder. Uh, most importantly, the add-on folder within Terran Conflict. Uh, this is where you're going to be putting most of the plugins, plugin information that you've downloaded. We have a little handy folder for ourselves where we've downloaded all the mods. That way we don't have to keep downloading them and just kind of putting them straight into X3 Terran Conflict. This makes it a little easier for you to organize which plugins have you uh, loaded up, how, which plugins have you not, all that good stuff. Now, most importantly, the link here is uh, to the foreign, uh, the forums over at egosoft.com. Now you want to look for this uh, post called Community Scripts, Mission Director, and Mods Library. This is a huge accumulation of many plugins, mods, and other types of utilities to allow you to pick what you want to add to your game. There's tons of stuff in here. As you'd imagine, X3 is a somewhat older game, uh, so there has been years and years of amazing work by folks that have been adding mods to this game and just making it better every year, which is why I decided to make a you know series of videos on this game because this game is still still worth your time, still worth playing. It is is a game that hasn't been matched in terms of complexity and freedom uh, for a uh, space exploration and uh, empire building type game. So what we're going to do first is uh, the most important plugin to install, or it's more of like a package of plugins, is this one that's recommended at the top here. Because we're playing Albion Prelude, we're going to go ahead and get the X3 AP bonus package. Now this bonus package is a package that uh, was provided by Egosoft, and it provides you all the commodity logistics software, commercial agents, a Dockware Manager, as well as some other really nice tools. I really like the Ephistos Corp uh, station building service. That's one of my favorite. It makes building uh, stations so much easier. Uh, but this is a very important package to pick up because it provides you something that will allow you to automate a lot of the ladder functions of the game that are um, can be really difficult if you're trying to do it manually. So let's go ahead and download the uh, package here. Now you want to look for this download page link up at the top. Click on that. And then you're going to get um, all this stuff here. You want to scroll down to the X3 AP all-in-one bonus package version 510. So it shows all the different plugins that will be added to the game if you install this. Then go ahead and click this download link right here. All right. So then click on this one and download the pack. Now this package comes in a nice and easy executable. So that way you don't have to worry about, you know, where are you putting this and all that good stuff. All right, you just hit run. Do all the things. Hit English, next. Now you want to point this to your uh, installation of X3 Terran Conflict. So in my machine, I have my Steam stuff in a second disc. So as usual, it's uh, your Steam apps, common, and then select the X3 Terran Conflict folder. Then hit next. You want all the plugins. Each one of these plugins is extremely useful, especially this blacklist manager. I mean, I, I, all of them are amazing. Commercial agent, logistics software. I, I, I can't live without those. 
at all. Don't have any saves to back up right now, so I'm not going to do that, but I would highly suggest you do that. All right, that's the, uh, the bonus package installed. The next thing you want to download is the Psychro Plugin Manager Lite. Now this will help you with uh, managing each of the plugins. Now, uh, I didn't really need this program at all. I, I did I didn't appreciate it when I downloaded it and used it a bit, but it's not necessary to manage all your plugins. Um, well, we're gonna get it anyways, but um, let's go ahead and click the link. You click on the download link here and it will uh, start downloading an executable that you can install that will help you with your plugins. Now, the reason why I mentioned like you don't really need this uh, executable is because of the fact that a lot of the mods don't come in the package uh, SPK that the plugin manager requires. Uh, if we, we go into one of these, so let's go to Crystal Free. You'll notice that they're, they're, the format that most of the plugins uses is uh, through these scripts and T folders, which just allows you just to throw these into your folder. But um, I've specifically made each one of these mods into a zip format, so I can still kind of manage these using the plugin manager. So let's go ahead and install the plugin manager, which I've already downloaded. All right. So as usual, you just click on all the things. Now, the first installation that's going to ask you about is where do you want to put the plugin manager? And it doesn't really matter where you put it. So let's just go ahead and um, yeah, I've already had it installed. So I'm just going to install on top of what I had before. All right. It will perform all of the checks it needs to make sure that uh, you are good to go. All right. As well as making sure that your uh, C++ 2008 redistributable is uh, up to date and ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and run the plugin manager light and uh, start configuring some of our, some of our plugins. So let's go ahead and run the uh, plugin manager here. Now on your first run of the, uh, the plugin manager, it's going to ask you where uh, X3 Terran conflict resides. Now it seems that um, I didn't completely uninstall this plugin manager because it didn't ask me this time and it just knows where it's at. So, but if you're first running it uh, for the very first time, it's gonna ask you exactly where these things are at. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you kind of what the difference between a package and an install archive is all about. Now, the format that this plugin manager uses is this SPK or there is another package that it uses called an XSP, which is a ship file. So these are the two formats that this plugin manager can use. And, it, and it's considered a package. And as I said, um, you're not really gonna find every single plugin to be in this particular package format. So if it's not in the right format, there is also the option of installing an archive. So let's go ahead and just take one of the archives that I have here. Now let's um, go to my X3 mods folder. This is why I like having this folder available to me so that I can just easily reference it here. So let's, um, let's click on this abandoned ship spawner. Uh, let's make sure it's crystal free just because I, I need to know if this is in the, uh, the, the SPK format or a regular folder format. So I'm gonna open this one here. Okay, so um, right off the bat, uh, the plugin manager forces you to go into either vanilla or uh, modified. So looks like I have to do that first before actually installing an archive here. So the way you do it is you go to mod selector, I'm sorry, you go to settings and you go to mode and you say modified. Yes, I would like to go to modified. This is telling me now that these plugins that are listed here are now enabled for my game. Let's go back to install archive, go to crystal free, hit open, 
and now the package is installed in the in the uh, plugin manager here. Now let's just take take a look at what the Terran conflict folder looks like. And you'll notice that Crystal Free is now part of uh, the, the installation here now. So you can use either the SPK format for packaging or the, uh, a zip file or a RAR or any of that sort to be able to add it to it. So let's just make sure that everything is proper. So if I go to Crystal Free and I go to, let's say, uh, Scripts, we're going to look for this script in the, uh, the Scripts folder here within Terran Conflict add-on. Let's make sure it's here. It's going to be after the exclamation point. And it looks like it is. There it is. So if you were doing this manually, all you'd have to do is copy the contents of your mod, or sorry, plugin into this Terran conflict slash add on folder. You would just merge the folders. So you have scripts and then the T folder here. And you'll have everything just put on there. But if you want to use the script manager or the plugin manager, then you can do it in that way that I showed you right there. So I'm going to go and do all the plugins and um, then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so now that we have our um, folder formatted uh, plugins installed here, so we've got Abandoned Ship Spawner, an Arcus Defense System, Crystal Free, Improved Races 2, I think it's supposed to be Improved Races 2, um, Marine Trainer, Pirate Guild 3, Yaki Armada 2. These are the plugins I like to use for my Let's Play. Um, and all the stuff is installed already for us thanks to the plugin manager. Now, as I said earlier, you don't really need this plugin manager for these particular uh, plugins. You can just copy paste the folders in, but it does now allow you to disable and, and uninstall these packages using the uh, plugin manager here. So if you're finding that something's not working or maybe it's breaking your game, you can go ahead and test by you know, disabling something that you may think is breaking your game here. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to install using a package. Now, the package was what how it was designed to be used for the plugin manager here. So let's go back to our X3 mods folder and then uh, make sure that we've got this here. And then we're gonna hit install and we're gonna select this. So this will open up a handy dandy little table here that will tell us whether or not this particular plugin is compatible with the version of the game that you currently have. Now, I made sure, I went on the forums and a lot of people have tried using this one, but um, if you run into this conflict that you see here, you know, make sure to do the same thing. Go into the forums, see if, if uh, that plugin works properly with your current version of um, X3 Al Albion Prelude. So I'm gonna hit install and it's gonna add it to the list. All right, so we now have improved boarding. Now the other thing you can do is there's a bunch of packages that are included along with the plugin manager. So you can go to the package browser and select any of the other plugins that you'd like to uh, put in here. All right. Uh, let's see, uh, let's do wing hotkeys. I like that one. You just hit install, you get the same table as you saw before. Hit install and uh, it'll get added. All right, so all of our all of our plugins are basically added in the fashion that we want them to be added in. I'm going to go ahead and start the game, and uh, we've got some more work to be done uh, while in game. So let's go ahead and do that. Something to note: uh, ensure that the uh, the plugin installer is closed before you start the game ran into some issues uh, but we're all good now so we're going to hit uh, start x3 albion prelude all right and then we're going to uh, start a new game so for my um 
my let's play, I'm probably going to start with the, um, I think the Bankrupt Assassin, because that's fun. And I do want to try using the Pirates, mo uh, Pirates Guild mod quite a bit, so I want to play as a pirate in this game, exclusively. Except for when I have to uh, do some of the main quests. I think I might play Pirate and then go with the Terrans. I think that might be the the option that I'm going to be going with. So as you, when you start the game, you get a little bit of a stall as your plugins kind of figure out what's going on. Uh, it will then give you a list of um, all the mods that were installed. Now, not all the mods have this message come up, but at least you get a feeling for like, okay, things are working. So um, the defense system, as well as the crystal free, those both those mod mods or sorry plugins. I keep calling them mods. I apologize. Um, gave me some messages. The first thing you got to do though, once you load up, and most of the plugins are going to require you to do this is you're going to want to go into your personal personal area here and then hit M to change your name. And you're going to type in there shall be wings. Now make sure that you have a capital T. There's two lowercase L's here and then an S at the end. There shall be wings. This will now enable the script editor so that you can perform other you know other uh, functions within the game. The way you get to the script manager is you hit shift C to pull up your command console. You scroll all the way down, you'll now have the script editor right here. Gives you a message for if you're an actual script editor editor. So uh, I am not. You can hit escape through that first message. Oop, I'm pretty sure you can. Let's see. Uh, escape, enter, enter, sorry, enter. Uh, this will tell you all the plugins, uh, all the tasks that are currently being run right now. This will make sure that you're basically ensuring that everything is running the way you want it to. So uh, let's see, what you want to click on is reinit script caches. And this will force all of the plugins to restart. And then I'm going to configure all of the, uh, all the plugins that I have uh, installed here by hitting escape and then going to controls and then going to not controls, sorry, gameplay. And right here you have some more options available to you. One that you want to run is the artificial life settings. Now this is mostly for the, um, these, uh, whoa, lots of <laughs> missiles going off. Oh God. It's going to tell me all the different plugins that I have, uh, and I would like to start enabling them. So I'm going to enable the uh, Abandoned Ship mod, and then uh, the Pirate Guild mod, and it, it will give you the option of then setting all the settings that you want. So I'm probably going to go with uh, High. Yes. Yes. I'm going to keep these to Neutral. And uh, we're good to go. So then you'll get a message at the bottom if you have um, the, the uh, subtitles enabled. I think it still does. But um, And you get a message saying, has been enabled, have fun. Go back to the artificial life and uh, make sure that you've got everything you need here. So I want uh, Yaki Armadas as well. You got motherships, ADS support, relation to the pirate faction friend, relation to the player neutral. And there we go. Keep going through this. And then increase in Marines on NPCs, NPC boarding. I'm going to take the easy way out and, and uh, keep those unenabled for now. So there we go. So that that's all the plugins that I can configure inside the, uh, the artificial life menu. Now the next part, next area you want to look for is in your controls. You're going to jump into interface here. Right here will be a list of all the extension hotkeys that you can um, you can enable to a key and then use. So let's go ahead and just uh, let's see what plugin configuration does. Put that on shift F10. 
And shift F10, and uh, it looks like it's giving us some uh, a listing of a uh, few of the plugins that we've installed. All right. So you just got to go through each one of these, so to make sure that everything that you've installed is installed the way you expect it to be. So once again, going into controls and then interface. The one I care about the most that I'm only I'm going to record here is the extended comm system new. No, it's the improved races comm system. I'm going to add the controls here to shift F9. And maybe the extended comm system. Let's see what that's all about. Shift F8. Save changes. Let's see what the comm thing is all about first. Got nothing yet, so it must be something that I have to enable somewhere else. So here's the Improve Races menu. I'm going to en enable the Improved Races. So um, I want all the things. I love this mod or this plugin so much. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It adds so much to the game. I'm really scared to do the economy booster, but I'm going to do it for this uh, Let's Play to keep things very interesting. And I love this player's ship construction. All right, and save it. And it will tell me it's doing all the things it needs to do. Now, the one I haven't seen yet is the pirate one. Did I do that one? Let's see. I think I did. I think I did. So, yeah, you can just go in these three areas. So you go to, to gameplay... Uh, run uh, artificial life settings. You can go into your controls and in the interface to see all the mods that are installed. As well as the, um, the script editor through Shift C and then the script editor. And uh, you can go ahead and just you can click on this and it'll show you all the different mods that are installed. All the different scripts. I keep saying mods, I apologize. Alright folks, so this is how I've installed um, all the plugins to the game for my Let's Play. Hopefully this helps you understand what needs to be done when uh, you are putting together a new game with a bunch of mods on it. If you have any questions, please uh, you know, drop a comment in the comments below. Uh, but for any technical related issues, I'm not, I'm just a user. You really want to go back to uh, this thread here. Um, let me change the sources here. You really want to go back to the thread in the community library, uh, which is right here. And ask your questions there. If you have any issues with any of the plugins or installing any of the plugins, uh, this will be your, your one-stop shop for any, any help or any additional mods you'd like to install. All right, folks, this is Johnny Onos playing X3 Albion Prelude. I will be starting my Let's Play series sometime today, so keep in touch with me and uh, let me know what you think about my videos and uh, subscribe if you can. I really, really appreciate it. So I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you.